Got a little mug. All right, guys, we're out today. Clayton and Tristan got a big hole going over here. I've kind of separated off in another little smaller hole. But he's got something showing. It looks to be a soda. Oh, buddy. Can't hardly see this back there, little way. Yeah, it's way back there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I got something. Pull it out. Always. What is it? Ozola. Another one. I hear you. Man. I'll take it. Yep. Nothing on that. Let's see. It's going to be an Indian behind that. Watch. Oh, yeah. Bring it to the light. There she is. I leave it down there. My last one pinged. Yeah, it did. It's all right. Well, good deal. Good ball right there. Good ball. They're hard to dig. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll get back with you. Oh, no, that's pepper sauce. There's that one. What you got? Birmingham? Yes. Solid. Chunk it up here. Let me see what variation it is. Say root on the bottom. Uh -uh. Oh, it is a root. It is a shoulder script though. Yeah. What's that, 19? 1914 is the date code. Ooh. I see it. It's a little different than the ones we've been digging on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if it was a 404 or a 404A. 404A is tough to get. There we go. All right. We'll keep going. All right. I've got a bottle showing down here. I'm going to pull it out. There was a hutch stopper fill out right next to it, so that was a good sign. I didn't see what it was. Let's see. It is a... Citrate Magnesia. It's got a really neat top on it. So it's pretty cool. Alright, we're going to keep going. Alright, we're back at it today. Got Tristan with me. We, uh, we're just digging down. And I slung a Deacon Brown out in my shovel full. And yesterday, I slung a hutch out. So apparently I'm taking too big a shovel fulls because I'm going to sling something good out if I'm not careful. Uh, I slowed down a little bit. And I've got this showing down here. It's another hutch it is going to be an alabama or a birmingham pull it out alabama bottling works there's your top it's in good shape got the eagle on the back and all right we're gonna keep going the hutch i pulled out while ago is right here y'all can see the print in the dirt we went about another foot and a half and i just pulled out a pepsi and it's in good shape I'm excited about that. That means we're the Pepsi plant Birmingham was open from 1907 to 1912. So that's the age range we're in. We're probably 1908 to 1912, around in there, maybe 1914. Uh, I'm leaning towards earlier. I'm thinking maybe 8, 9, 10. So we're at least in a 108 year old seam right here. And we're just getting to the bottom. We thought we were at bottom and we weren't. And uh, there's a really hard layer. And that Pepsi came out of that hard layer. So we're going to go a little bit lower and see what else we can come up with. We're getting on down there now. Tristan's about to pull one out. I know he is. I pulled this one out. They're pretty common, but it's pretty neat. Kilmer Swamp Root Kidney Liver and Bladder Remedy, which is pretty neat. It looks good. I hit it with a shovel and felt it. And got off and just kind of pried around on it because I knew it was a, a medicine. I thought it was going to be like from New York or something, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. I'll take it for sure. But uh, we're still not quite there to the bottom. We really haven't started channeling to the side at all. We've just been going straight down and pulling pretty good bottles out. So uh, I have a very good feeling that we're going to find a few more for sure. But we'll get back with you in a minute. Tristan's got one showing down here. Looks like it might be a Raul, and we'll find out. There's another bottom in it. <laughs> yep. Bottom script Raul. Still an older bottle. It's like the older bottles are riding a little higher. For real. That's alright though. Makes our lives a little easier. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to keep on going. Check that out. That was a bottom. That bottom we thought that was next to that bottle was actually an ink. Nice little cone ink. So that's nice. All mm -hmm. right, we'll keep going. All right, Tristan's got a bottle exposed right here, and there's a, looks like an insulator top right there. We're gonna dig them both out live and see if they're any good. 
We've also got a wall that's getting a little sketchy. It's doing what I call creeping. I don't know if y'all can see the dirt falling off of it. That means, it, yep, there it went. That means, that means it's about to go. I might want to back up just a second. We'll catch this on video too. This is always kind of an exciting part of bottle digging. Today we're not nearly as deep. We're only about seven or eight foot, so it's not dangerously 10 or 15 feet. Is it looking? It's broke. Oh no. Birmingham. Birmingham Bottling Works Hutch. Dang, that sucks. Yeah. Let's see about that insulator. That's broken. Oh, it's a doorknob. It's a doorknob. <laughs> wow. Uh, so we, we talked about it, and we were going to go sideways across the line and move this direction. And it looks, I mean, that's a can right there, but there is some 50 60s trash, but it got really, really soft all of a sudden. And I can't help but wonder if that's been dug. Uh, we don't know. We're going to keep going that way because this is about the only direction we can really head besides straight ahead. Uh, we'll do both. Uh, anyways, we'll get back with you when we find something. All right, we've got a hut showing down here. We hope it's whole. You can see the neck of it a little bit. Get out of his way where he can see, but I want y'all to be able to see too. It's riding lower than our other ones. So we're, it's clear. We're hoping for anything besides Alabama Bottling Works or Alabama Bottling Company. We'll take it if it is, but we sure would like something different. I'd like to get this guy an Indian before he gets out of here. <laughs> He's going to be leaving us here in a week or two. This is one of his last few digs with us. Alabama. Alabama. We'll take it, like I said, uh, but, you know, it's a hutch. Any day you dig a hutch is a good day, but, man, we were hoping for something a little bit older. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Good. We'll take it. Right. That's all right. We'll keep going. Persistence pays off. It really does. Check that out. Tristan just pulled that out. That's a nice big aqua med or some kind. I mean, I'm guessing med or bitters. I don't know. I like it, though. It's neat. It's like all of a sudden we found the pocket. Right as we got about 30 minutes left and we're ready to go. That's how it works. But we were trying to uh, we were trying to find a spot. You know, you dig a hole, but then you got to find the seam in the hole. And we found it, so we know which way we got to head. Uh, but literally, this caved a while ago, and this was in the top of the hole. And uh, no offense to the guys that collect these, but this is not my not my kind of stuff. But I cannot believe that there's a 60s bottle. I mean, you're talking about 60 years difference within three foot. So, that's what I always say is if you dig down and you hit some trash, keep on digging until you're not hitting any trash at all because there could be some really good stuff just a few feet away. This could go. Just pulled out a Paul Jones whiskey flask. See, it says 1908 on it. All right, now don't fall down on us. Uh, pulled a CC company out on this side over here just a second ago I'm gonna see what else we can find y'all see these holes and you think you know about the work that goes into this but it really does it takes a special kind of person to want to dig a 10-foot hole wouldn't you say Tristan <laughs> and uh I mean I love metal detecting and I love anything to do with relic hunting and uh, me and Tristan were just sitting here talking about doing some Civil War hunting on stuff and uh but this stuff right here, there is not only historic value, but there is realistic value to the bottles. I mean, the some of this stuff is just ridiculous for how much it goes for. Uh, I mean, pretty much any Birmingham bottle you can sell for 20 bucks, wouldn't you say? Uh, I mean, and if it's a hutch, in my opinion, your bare price on a hutch is going to be 20, 25 bucks. But if it's a good hutch, like the Indians and stuff that we've been finding, uh, hundreds of dollars. Uh, and certain collectors will pay more than that. That's where you have to know somebody that needs it. And like with my Indian that I dug, probably normally a $350 bottle, uh, but there's only a few of them out there. A uh, collector offered me 500 just because you can't find them. When, when a collector gets their hands on them, they won't let them go. And then they die, and then the family don't know what they have, and they end up getting thrown out. So... It's always a good idea if you dig something to let your family know how much it's worth. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah. I knew if I stayed talking long enough, you'd find one. <laughs> Let's see what we got. 
just say no to Riola. Maybe Alicola. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I love how they stack, man. Top broke on that one. Maybe that means the soda's whole, right? Let's see. The bottom's there. Let's see if the neck's all there. Oh, neck's gone, and it was a Rolla. CC. Oh, it's a CC. Oh, crap. A there's a lot of those cccs in this hole it's weird how in certain areas of a dump there's more bottles of one kind mm -hmm. than the other <clears throat> anyways this will probably be the wrap up we're, we're gonna dig a little bit further if we find something i'll get back and show you but i'll go up here and just show you what we dug today real quick if i can get out of the hole oh. So we've got a Dr. Caldwell's, we've got a ranch sauce, got a couple of whiskey flasks, got a nice little Bromo, a couple other. This is a neat little bottle right here. Mustang liniment. Really neat. Uh, that's a big three in one. That's a lot bigger than your normal one. Uh, the Pepsi Cola that I dug earlier, the Kilmers, the whole CCC, Hutch I dug over there, Raola, Milk and a Deacon Brown and there's some smalls there's some marbles a couple stoppers uh, it's been a pretty good day uh, Tristan dug one of these right here yesterday that had a skull and crossbones on it nice little poison super jealous of that I was hoping to find one of those today but it didn't happen but either way appreciate y'all tagging along for the adventure if you like please hit the like button on the bottom and subscribe as well